what to do during a mass shooting. But until we, two things, until we figure out a way to create systems within local government that are very Brad, we're gonna to take it to the podium people. now, Brad, the President of the United States speaking now. My name is Joe Biden. I'm Dr. Joe Biden's husband. And I ate Jenny's ice cream, chocolate chip. I came down because I heard there was chocolate chip ice cream. By the way, I have a whole refrigerator full upstairs. I think I'm kidding. I'm not. Uh, ben, how are you, pal? One of the best guys in the United States Congress, Ben Cardin. Uh, folks, uh, welcome to the White House. It's a delight to have you all here. And who are those good looking kids back there? They're your kids, all four of them? Well, stand up, guys. I want you to know, like you, I had two brothers, three, three in our family, three brothers, and one sister. My sister is smarter than all of us. <laughs> Not a joke. She, she used to be three years younger than me. Now she's 23 years younger than me. <laughs> yeah. She managed every one of my campaigns for office, even back when I was in high school. We went to the same university two years apart. She graduated with honors. I graduated. And we had a simple rule in the family. Listen to Val. My sister Valerie is incredible. So guys, be nice to your sister. You're going to need her. You're going to need her. I promise. It's the same lineup. You're the oldest. Who's number two? Number two? Who's number three? You're twins? Are you guys twins? Okay. All right. This is this how it was in my outfit. Well, I'm so glad to see you all. Thanks for coming with mom, okay? You gotta take care of your mom. Dads are much harder to raise, but you know. <laughs> Before I begin to speak, the reason I spent a little time in the kids, I, I just want to speak very briefly about the school shooting in Nashville, Tennessee. <clears throat> you know, uh, Ben and I have been doing this our whole careers, it seems. And uh, it's just, uh, it's sick. You know, we're still gathering the facts of what happened and why. And we do know that as of now, there are a number of people who are not gonna, did not make it, including children. It's heartbreaking, uh, a family's worst nightmare. And I wanna commend the police who responded, responded incredibly swiftly, within minutes, to end the danger. We're monitoring the situation really closely, Ben, as you know, and uh, we have to do more to stop gun violence. It's ripping our communities apart, ripping the soul of this nation, ripping at the very soul of the nation. And we, we have to do more to protect our schools so they aren't turned into prisons. You know, uh, the shooter in this situation reported we had two assault weapons and a pistol, two AK-47. So I call on Congress again to pass my assault weapons ban. It's about time that we begin to make some more progress, but there's more to learn. But I just wanted to send my uh, concern and hearts out to so many parents out there. I've been to so many of these sites, as Ben knows, by virtually every one. And uh, one of the things you folks should, I know you do know, but you should focus on. You know, just like when in the military, my son was in Iraq for a year, other places, you, so many members of the military coming back with post-traumatic stress after witnessing the violence and participating in it. Well, these children, these teachers, you should be, should be focusing on their mental health as well. And so I'm grateful anyway. Sorry to start off that way, but I couldn't begin without acknowledging what happened. <clears throat> and now I'm grateful to all of you.